Persons with disabilities PWDs are among the most marginalized groups in the world. They face social or attitudinal barriers, physical or architectural barriers, information or communication barriers every day of their lives. This has resulted in their poorer health outcomes, lower educational achievements, less economic participation, higher rates of poverty, and are among the unreached groups across the world in terms of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Even though disability is a human rights issue, it is also a religious issue because the church, being the salt and light of the earth, should spearhead the inclusion of persons with disabilities for the world to follow. According to the World Health Organization report on Disability 2011, more than 1 billion people in the world live with some form of disability of whom nearly 200 million experience considerable difficulties in functioning. By the report, in the years ahead, disability will be an even greater concern because its prevalence is on the rise due to aging populations and the higher risks of disability in older people. This also means that one in seven people or approximately 15% of the world's population have disability. We asked the question, how many of such people are found in our churches. Wo nyama kese a waye e wo ya bra bo mu waye wo busu mu sabre e pese bia no edikan adarade ase ye mpa en darade ase. Persons with disabilities are also children of God created in his image. They are persons with souls that need to be saved. In Mark chapter 16 verses 15, Christ has commissioned the church to go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. This includes persons with disability. In Vision 2023, the church seeks to intensify the ministry to persons with disabilities to include the physically challenged, the blind, the intellectually impaired, persons with albinism, persons with developmental disabilities, mentally challenged, and other forms of disabilities. Everybody needs to be saved. The ministry to persons with disabilities was birthed in the Vision 2023 and aimed at intensifying ministry to persons with disabilities. We have been doing this ministry for close to about 13 years but now we want to intensify it to include all persons with disabilities. The, the fact is, the world is watching. Families of persons with disabilities are watching. As we do ministry to touch the lives of persons with disabilities, we will in turn touch the heart of their families, the heart of the world. Persons with disabilities live with us in the society. Society can identify them, but no one has really taken the bold step and the initiative to include them fully. As the church steps into including persons with disabilities fully, the world will also follow suit and we will transform society. If you and I join, we can bring many persons with disabilities to the saving power of Jesus Christ. We all need sacrificial spirits like our master Jesus Christ who sacrificed his very life for our redemption. We must sacrifice our time, our strength, our money, our space and even our lives for persons with disabilities. Let's try to become all things to all men so that by all means we may win some. The grace and love of God is for all men. So let's make our churches disabled friendly and change our attitudes towards persons with disabilities and the Lord through us will bring to salvation persons with disabilities to build an all-inclusive glorious church. What we have to do 
is to make our churches disability friendly. When you are building a structure, when you are building your home, when you are building a chapel, when you are building a school, when you are building a hospital, try as much as possible to make it disability friendly so that persons with disabilities can assess the facilities and whatever good that is in them will come out and together we will build a glorious church. It starts with you. It starts with me. With all love and sacrifice to make our churches accessible, persons with disabilities will be saved and empowered to possess nations for Christ. Full inclusion is very possible, but it takes our sacrifice. It takes my sacrifice. It takes your love. It takes my love to bring persons with disability closer to the saving power of God. Possessing the nation, I am an agent of transformation.